Psalm 19 to the choir master, a Psalm of David. The heavens declare the glory of God, and the sky above proclaims his handiwork. Day to day pours out speech, and night to night reveals knowledge. There is no speech, nor are there words, whose voice is not heard. Their voice goes out through all the earth, and their words to the end of the world. In them he has set a tent for the sun, which comes out like a bridegroom leaving his chamber, and like a strong man runs its course with joy. Its rising is from the end of the heavens, and its circuit to the end of them, and there is nothing hidden from its heat. The law of the Lord is perfect, reviving the soul. The testimony of the Lord is sure, making wise the simple. The precepts of the Lord are right, rejoicing the heart. The commandment of the Lord is pure, enlightening the eyes. The fear of the Lord is clean, enduring forever. The rules of the Lord are true and righteous altogether. More to be desired are they than gold, even much fine gold, sweeter also than honey and drippings of the honeycomb. Moreover, by them is your servant warned. In keeping them there is great reward. Who can discern his errors? Declare me innocent from hidden faults. Keep back your servant also from presumptuous sins. Let them not have dominion over me. Then I shall be blameless and innocent of great transgression. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. God does not want to stay hidden from us. He wants us to know him. We know him through his creation and also through his law, the Torah, God's revelation to Moses, now found in the first five books of the Bible. David exults in the preciousness of this word. Is this how you feel about the revelation God has given of himself in his word? How do you approach scripture? Do you see it as fuel to revive your soul, rejoicing the heart? Do you desire the word of God more than a $10 million inheritance and all that it could purchase? And yet the word of God not only reveals who God is, it also reveals who we are in all our sin and need. The lofty call of scripture is worthy of all pursuit yet frustratingly beyond our reach in light of our weakness and inadequacy. David knows this. Thus his concluding remarks in the psalm, beginning with, Who can discern his errors? He closes by praying for his words and thoughts to be acceptable in the sight of God, and he knows that by grace they will be, for in the final words of the psalm he calls God, My Redeemer. But how, in light of his sin? Only, ultimately, through the redeeming work of God's only Son, Jesus Christ, who, though perfectly acceptable, was punished as one unacceptable, so that we, unacceptable through sin, might be accepted eternally into God's presence. <laughs>